What would you say would have happened if Jefferson would have been proved right at the time? That Indians, there was more to Indians than just their hunting skill. Would things in America look differently today? Did anybody try to thwart, in science, did anybody try to thwart that and why? Archaeologists now think that those Native Americans were, uh, dare I say, fairly advanced, possibly being able to extract iron and copper as well as mine it and then carry it great, great distances to trade it. If we knew that at the time, would we have treated Indians any better? They definitely deserved better, especially when you see the history that has been erased by science and the Smithsonian coming up. Advanced ancient civilizations once inhabited the North American continent, and this fact was common knowledge just 200 years ago. As uh, Europeans moved northward from the Gulf in the 1530s and westward from Virginia after 1607 and westward from Plymouth Rock in 1620, they did learn that the place had been occupied for a long time by other people. George Washington saw major earthworks. The biggest architecture George Washington ever saw was created by Native Americans along the Ohio River. They were viewed by the early settlers, of course. Uh, they were so plentiful that uh, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't a surprise to have one on your property. Uh, these things were common. Uh, oftentimes, many of them were uh, reduced to, uh, to nothing because they were used for landfill in a, a growing uh, a village or a town or an upcoming city. Thomas Jefferson was well aware that there were very, very big earthworks in the Ohio Valley, and he became aware, thanks to Lewis and Clark, that there were even bigger ones in the center of the continent around Cahokia and St. Louis. What were these ancient earthworks? Ancient city walls, buildings, roads, burial sites. Some who authored the very first publications of the Smithsonian, or the earliest books on North American antiquities, described and illustrated things that would surprise most of us today. Roger Williams, founder of the First Baptist Church in America, in the mid-1600s, believed that indigenous people were not only fellow seekers, but that, quote, the Indians were probably of Jewish descent of the lost tribes of Israel. 200 years later, Roger Williams would receive an ally in Mormon church founder, Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith claimed that the Native Americans were in fact um, just like the rest of us, just as good, just as valuable, and just as important as all of the rest of us. Later, Many other artifacts would turn up that suggested the presence of Middle Eastern cultures in North America. Protestant priests, Catholic fathers, um, uh, Jewish rabbis uh, were seeing these possible links between the, uh, the Native Americans and ancient Israel. These links included written records that uh, had possible tie-ins to the ancient world. Perhaps the largest documented religious artifact was this ancient city wall mound, recorded in Squire and Davis's Smithsonian publication entitled Ancient Monuments of the Mississippi Valley. Thankfully, some artifacts in ancient cities yet remain, such as these once city walls, intentionally preserved as mounds in a golf course in Newark, Ohio. Not just high math, but uh, these sites are lined up primarily with uh, the lunar calendar. They had high math, they understood geometry, and because of the lunar calendar, they also understood the heavens, astronomy. What I've learned now is just how amazing uh, they were in terms of their knowledge of the solar system and of mathematics. 
This is one of the earliest maps that we found on the Newark Earthworks. This is a drawing by Wyrick from 1860. David Wyrick had done the first comprehensive surveys of the magnificent Newark Earthworks. The first of what came to be known as the Holy Stones was found there, and five months later, at the Jacksontown Stone Mound a few miles southeast of Newark, he found something even more amazing. Uh, they found one major earth structure in the center, surrounded by 12 small burials. David Wyrick went straight for the middle one with nine other gentlemen, and they began to dig that mound down. And they uncovered it. When they did, they found a wooden coffin made out of oak. And opening up that coffin, in there was a large skeleton of a man, but also in this coffin was a little box, uh, no more than maybe about eight or 10 inches in size, and it was cemented shut. Wyrick and the men, while they're all there together, they pried this box apart, and in it was a black stone. They, they opened this box, and here was this unusual artifact. They took it to some scholars, identified that it was probably some type of Hebrew, they took it to some uh, rabbis living in the area, and upon looking at it, they said yes, they could read it. And it was a complete rendition of the Ten Commandments. Then it wasn't until sometime in the 1900s, lo and behold, in Israel, they find, guess what? They found block-style Hebrew. That block-style Hebrew was given a name by the experts, Monumental Hebrew, because of the way it was written long after Wyrick, after. I'm Cherokee Indian, and so I had a moral imperative to investigate my own uh, family history and, and origins, and that led me to DNA. I, Haplogroup X is really a fascinating story because the X files of Native American genetics, because it burst on the scene in 1998 Scientists didn't want to believe it, but they found a new haplogroup in the, uh, among the uh, Indians of the Great Lakes in particular, and that was haplogroup X. Only the mystery of haplogroup X was uh, revealed in a, in a very important study by a team under Dr. Schluss, and he determined without, without any doubt that the origin of haplogroup X was the hills of Galilee. It was that clear. That's where, because where you have the greatest concentration and the greatest diversity, you have, that's the origin. Uh, is it true that uh, all Native Americans came from 10 families that stumbled across the Bering Strait chasing wo woolly mammoths? Uh, before the last ice age? I don't think mine did.